bande limoninga Zambe a sala kilola Aiko sala mokili Asalimbi sina mai Aiko sala nzete Asala jambu na eva Ah ah mama Suete en ce moment Libala e banda ki Ne denye Ah ah mama Suete en ce moment Libala e banda ki Ne denye Libala moni Eza li pouya l'olendote Na li bala Solo batala kabiza le li Banga babo kilo Peto saba se me ki na yo Perdino za la janti Ki si a li bala e Boto si e Ah mama Perdino za la janti Ki si a li bala e Boto si e I would like God to be in control of this day. I want Him to lead us and to guide and always, always be with us. All the best by your day. We so much love you. Congratulations to the beautiful couple. We've been waiting for this day. On a beaucoup attendu. On est content. Que Dieu les bénisse abondamment. Beaucoup de bonheur. Félicitations à et tout ce que je peux encore souhaiter à ce nouveau marié, toutes les bonnes choses pour leur mariage. Oyo na zuile loyo, na bimi na mi swaba boti, na bimi na mi soya leta, na bimi na mi soya nzambe a mama, ngai na linga kaye, toko vanda na ye, kino suka ye. Ah chérie, viens danser avec moi. Pour le meilleur, le pire, Toko Vandaye Car les oiseaux chanteront la douce mélodie Et les anges du ciel y danseront Atinda ki bilili Abomba ki oyaye Biza le lima Nabalako yinandako Makani siye zongi Afrika Nibuso yoko mele Tunanzambe Yari Yari Oyo nyoso konseka Sako luka molonga ni nalibanda Kolo baki yoko Bongo la ye mote malelo Tosu kine wapi Nibanda na yesuwe Omo ye zalite Mingi bako mako lela Se trota Leave their family today Who is giving them? Who is giving them permission? Oh my desire You satisfy your Lord Qui sont les parents qui autorisent le mariage? I can't live without you Lord Le doigt ne suffit pas Je voudrais que les gens écoutent votre voix Euh... Je nomme bien, j'invite toi. Je voudrais que la personne qui donne la permission puisse dire audiblement que c'est elle qui donne la permission pour que vos autres fassent en place.
parce que la foi va au-delà des gestes. For our family in English, I wanted the person that gives the God to make to pronounce because we need to hear the voice. Amen. I would like us to remain standing as we approach the throne of God in prayer. Please, music, put it down. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, as we stand here today in this altar, you are the father of whom all the families in heaven and the earth draw their names. Father, you knew from the beginning of time that this day will come. We invite you. We surrender everything into your hand. Holy Spirit, take over. Think through my mind and speak through my lips. We acknowledge your presence in this place. You are a God of family. Marriage is a divine institution. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I take authority over every contrary spirit, every anti-marital spirit that have joined us in this place to oppose these proceedings, I bind you in the name of Jesus. I destroy your power. I paralyze you. Here, Jesus Christ is Lord. is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Father, we thank you. We thank you for making this possible today. And we surrender under the guidance of the Holy Spirit during all the proceedings. And we give all glory to Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Yes, give Jesus a hand. I would like the couple to come this side. And the congregation can be seated. Please assist her, assist her. This is a great day, especially you young girl. This is an opportunity for you to grab the blessings. Hallelujah. Well done, my son, well done. I believe that all of us should know why are we gathering in this place today, amen? The reason we are gathered here today in the sight of God to be witnesses of what is about to take place between Cedric and Rosette. Throughout this ceremony, I will be addressing them as such. The husband's name is Cedric and the wife. Let me call her in anticipation. She's still the, the groom, but the groom and the bride, she's Rosette. I will address them during the ceremony as Cedric and Rosette. Amen? So I would like you to know that you are not here as a spectator. But before the Lord, you are a witness of what will happen here. When we prayed, we invited the Holy Spirit to take over. And they are here. The angel of God are here to make sure that this proceedings goes to the glory of God. Amen? And you heard me asking the mother that has given green light audibly that she has given a consent for her daughter to be married today. Amen. The book, the word of God from the book of Hebrews, chapter 13 says, God says that marriage is honorable among all people. Therefore, as witnesses, you have a responsibility to God to do everything in your power to ensure that this union remains strong, solid, happy, and prosperous. Amen? I respect and appreciate that you are a friend, you are a family member, but in the sight of the Lord, you have a responsibility for your presence in this place. Amen? To the congregation, today God is joined Cedric and Rosette to become one. When he does this, it is for the rest of their lives, as God himself says, 
that what he has joined together, let no man separate. Hallelujah. I would like to elaborate a little bit, but because of time, I cannot spend more. But I want to tell the congregation, you that are witnesses, you that are married, and to you, my son and my daughter, that you have embarked in a no return journey. Hallelujah. There is no going back. I can look, you look handsome more than myself. Hallelujah. And my daughter is shining. But you have embarked in a journey where you cannot look back. Hallelujah. I declare and I speak with authority that this union will stand. Hallelujah. The word of God in Matthew 19 says so. However, before we continue, I need to ask everyone in this room. Hallelujah. I said, I want to ask everyone in this room, if any of you is aware of any legal hindrances, why Cedric and Rosette cannot marry? Let me come this so you can see me clearly. Is there anyone here that has any objection, that has any reason why I should not proceed with this marriage? I give you two minutes because I'm very generous. Two minutes. My writing says, speak now or forever or your peace. Can I assume that there is nobody? That clap our hand. Thank you. To the bride and the groom, Cedric and Rosette. I'm facing the congregation and I look at you now. Do either of you know of any lawful reason why you may not be married today? Is there any reason? Remember, I told you you are embarking in a no return. This is not two ways. It's one way. So I want the young man to give you the mic so they can hear you. Start with Cedric. Is there any legal, any lawful reason why we should not proceed with this marriage? No reason, Teddy. Speak louder. Let them hear you. <laughs> I don't have any good reason. Hallelujah. Clap your hand. <laughs> Let me hear my daughter, Rosette. Is there any reason, my daughter, that you want to think, you got two seconds to think clearly again, if there is no reason? Speak louder. Let me hear you. No, Daddy. I don't have any good reason. Hallelujah. <laughs> We agree with you. We thank the Lord for your answers. Right now, I will like the parent on the side of the husband and the wife to assist our couple in lighting those outer candles. Let me direct myself this side. I would like the couple to assist them. This beautiful girl, one of you should come and assist this side. Escort them, come this side. The family must stand there. I don't see them, Chris. The family must come. If there is your uncle, your auntie, you come this side. I will shortly explain what we are trying to do. All right. So this side is the husband family. OK. Um, you are witnesses. I will lack the two outer candles that represent 
their separate life. Not the one in the middle, but those in the extremities, I want them to lie them. So the husband, family comes, first decide. Oh, Papa knows very well. He knows very well. Well, wonderful. And the, the Brad family, come that side. Does Mama knows how to? No, no, no. Let us give the Lord a hand. Thank you so much. Uh, I wanted the couple witness and the family. Those two outer candles represent their lives when they were still single. Amen. They had two lives separate, and today the Lord will unite them in one life. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bring me the couple back this side. Let them stand here. Cedric and Rosette, today you must be very strong. You are not allowed to get tired. Hallelujah. Once again, I would like the congregation to feel that we are not small. Because the majority is the one, those that are with Jesus. Amen? Jesus is here. So I don't want you to look at big look at the church and we are just few. We are not alone. The Spirit of God is with us. Hallelujah. I would like quickly to let you know that uh, this couple, this young couple, are children in this house. Amen? We have looked after them. Myself, I'm the district pastor. And they, they followed them. They were followed by Pastor Galance and Pastor Bridge, uh, Ruth, who are a, a couple, a pastor's couple that they are married. They followed them closely. They allowed them to ask any question that they want. And myself, I sit with them. So the counseling has been done in the fear of the Lord. Amen? So I would like you to know that they are not standing here just like that, but counseling has been done. And I'm happy to say before the Lord that they look outstanding. They look awesome. I said they look beautiful. I said they look... I want us to clap for the Lord because they are shining. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. To you, bride and groom, Jesus describes people who believe in him as his body. In 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 27, it says, Now you are the body of Christ and members individually. Now you are the body of Christ and members individually. In Revelation 21, verse 9, part B, it says, Come, I will show you the bride, the lamb's wife. We are also the bride of Jesus. Hallelujah. It is important. This event, I will call them the main actors, but it concerns all of us. Hallelujah. Because God regards marriage as a divine institution. If you are here, you are single, or you are married, there are a lot of things that you can benefit because the Spirit of God is here. Amen. Amen. So I would like us to be very attentive and follow the direction of the Holy Spirit. So in the same way that Jesus and his believers are one, and we are the bride of Christ, so he provides the model of the relationship between husband and wife. 
The reason for this is to have marriages as a type or shadow of Christ, who is the bridegroom, and his believers, who is the bride. Family, by saying this, I would like to make it very clear that in this house, we believe that Jesus is the perfection, is the model of a perfect marriage. Hallelujah. I will go further and explain what I'm trying to say, but what we are trying to celebrate here, that's why we call it a marriage ceremony. We are trying to make sure that Jesus is the foundation of this marriage. Hallelujah. I know we are happy today. We are smiling. We'll dance. Tonight there will be 120 people. They will not miss. But this is the real deal. The real deal of wedding is in the church. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So Jesus and the church are the model of the marriage. Faithfulness of Jesus, the love of Jesus, patience of Jesus, tolerance of Jesus, everything they will do throughout their lives should be in the light of what Jesus did with the church. Amen? How then does Christ say the husband and wife must live with each other? The very scripture, structure of marriage is led on Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 22. I cannot allow myself to go very quick here because there is no perfect marriage under the sun. But if we follow the word of God, we can be better. Hallelujah. Are you together? Are we together? I've been married for 21 years. My wife always forget to bring me water when she brings food for me. Hallelujah. So I want to tell you that there is no perfect. But when Jesus is in the midst of the marriage, it will always produce something better. You will grow loving each other, discovering each other like never before. Hallelujah. The matter of fact, I'm going on Monday to Israel to renew our vows. Then I can call hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So here yeah, I would like you, my daughter and my son, to listen to me carefully. I'm not here to, make, to preach, but it's important that the word of God should, should be in the middle. If you cannot speak English, please sit down next to somebody that speaks French so that he can explain to you. This is very important. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 22 to 28. Wives, submit to your own husband as to the Lord. Somebody say own. Wives, submit to your own husband as to the Lord. You shall submit to your husband, your own husband. You have one husband. Hallelujah. Your father is not your husband. Your uncle is not your husband. Your pastor is not your husband. Your husband is Cedric. You shall submit to your own husband and respect all other men. Are we together? You respect elders, you respect the pastors, but you submit to your own husband. Somebody say, praise the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife. The husband is not the head of the family of his wife. He's not the head of his family in law. He is the head of his own wife. Hallelujah. The husband is head of the wife. As also Christ is head of the church. And he is savior of the body. Everywhere that there is two heads, it becomes a monster. Hallelujah. My daughter Rosette, I said I will elaborate here. This is your head. Hallelujah. One head. You report to him first before you call your papa. You report to him first before you call your mama. Are you with me? He is the head of you, his wife. Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, so let the wives be to their own husband 
in everything. Somebody say, in everything. You are subject to Cedric in everything. My daughter, we spoken the other day. I cannot explain here in the church what we said, but in everything. When he comes from work, you call him my sweetheart. You call him my pumpkin, welcome home. You take the sweet case from his hand. Hallelujah. No matter how the day were at your own workplace, at home, you make him feel he's at home. You make him feel that he needs to go quickly home so she, he can see his potatoes. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Give the Lord a hand. It is the way you treat your husband that makes him to go home immediately after work. He will not go to the club. He will not sit under, I don't know what, he's listening to other things because he knows when he goes home, it is not nice. My daughter, I release the anointing of the Lord upon your life to be the best wife ever. Husband, and all the young men here, listen to this, and those that are not married. Husband, love your wives. Even if she serves you food and she keep on forgetting water, you still love her. Yeah. Hallelujah. Love covers multitude. Amen. I don't want to carry on, but husband... This is your duty. You love your wives just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself from her. He gave himself for her. When they are coming to attack you, you don't run and you come and look from there. You are there. Before you run, you must make sure she is protected. Hallelujah. That he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by the word. Well done. I wanted to say it, but they will say this pastor can look everywhere. You did very well. Amen. That he may present her to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. When you love your wife, she'll become beautiful every day. She become younger every day. Are you with me, my son? I'm speaking about the duty of the husband. You must love her the way Jesus loved the church, without any blemish, without any wrinkle. Amen? So husband, how to love their own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife, love himself. Let all the men repeat with me. So husband, how to love their own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife, loves himself. Love your own wife. Hallelujah. I rebuke anything, any satanic Thoth, that will cross your mind when you see other women. Hallelujah. The word of God says, love your own wife. Who, the one that loves his wife loves himself. Amen. I will try to move faster, but this was important that I emphasize. I know we are African. I know there are different culture, but in Christ, there is no other culture. We are all one. Hallelujah. Are we together? If you are married, I don't care for 60 years. But you still need to learn something. Amen. This is the model, the type of Jesus in the church. So according to the scripture we have just read, husband how to love their wives in the same manner that Christ loved the church. Cedric, you have to love Rosette. Cedric, are you there? I say, Cedric, you have to love Rosette, sacrifice for her. You don't eat when she didn't eat yet. 
Let me get some strength, then you will eat. No, you must sacrifice for her. You must put a need first. Hallelujah. Sacrifice. Be sensitive to her every need. Be sensitive to her every need. Be there for her at all times. Rosette has to be the most important person in your life next to the living Christ. Hallelujah. This woman, she's the best cooker for you. You don't say, ah, my mama, you cook, but my mama is more than yourself. Are you with me? She's the best cook. You teach her how you want. If you want peri-peri, say, my wife, this time increase peri-peri. I want you to do this and this and that. She is the most important person to you next to Christ. I respect our mothers. I respect our parents. But the Bible says she is the next most important person to you. Next to Christ. You should have no secret. Cedric, from today, if they call you, you don't go to the bathroom. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, I will see you. You must be comfortable. I know the catcher tell us, this is my wife's cell phone. This is my own. When your wife takes your cell phone, you don't run. Give it here. Hallelujah. How many of us are doing that? <laughs> Praise the Lord. So she is the most important. When your mama wants money from you, you tell her. Any crook that comes your way to ask you money, you must share with her. You want to bless anyone, your wife must be away. Decision making process is together. Hallelujah. Yes, my son. It's nice to hear this. Eh? Uh huh. You don't put money in your, in your socks. You decide together. Akataba. Somebody say, Thank you, Jesus. She is the most important person next to Christ for you. Decision making. All people's opinion concerning her are nothing. Because for you, she's the best wife. For you, she's the beautiful one. For you, she's the exact what? I don't know what to say again. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Wives, on the other hand, need to submit to their husband. As believers must submit to Christ. Even you are tired, my daughter. There is a way to speak to your husband. He will understand that you are tired. Don't, to, don't tell him you don't know what I went through today. F make him feel his house is a paradise. Be always available. My son, you don't treat her. She's not your horse. She's not under your feet. She's next to you. And when you say the truth, the Lord will know. And the Spirit of God will convince and we give you the right way to bring peace all the time. Hallelujah. Rosette, you need to submit to Cedric. Leadership. Remember we said he is the head. He is the head of the family. And love him and care for him. Remove his socks. So when he's tired, when you take the back, he sit down. You, it is your duty. You are the boss. You are the minister in the house. You remove the shoes. Don't allow him to wear one socks for three days. Are you with me? When he's dressing in the morning, you must make sure the button is in the right place. This uh, something is close to the right place. Are you with me? After the wedding, when you saw him going to that toilet during the service, when he comes, you look at him clearly. Okay, everything is in order. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Those small, small things make life better. Let her feel that you are the best friend ever. She can confide in you because she trusts you. Believing and trusting is too different. When she trusts you, it, it doesn't matter if she's looking at you, even on her back, she trusts you. You cannot stab her. Are you with me? Yeah. 
You need to be in unity with one another. And he must also be the most important person in your life next to the living Christ. I know you are working. I release the blessings of God for an increase and promotion upon your life. But I don't care if you earn a bigger salary than him. You cannot decide on your own, take a decision, send money to your family, or do whatever you want to do without consulting him and making him involved in day-to-day decision-making. Amen? Let him feel he's the best husband ever. I don't know if all the wives treat their husband the way my wife do. Hallelujah. She calls me baby. Before I was feeling shame. Baby, I look around. Ah, you do I see? No, not when we are together, we are two of us is fine. But now she can call me baby, even in the church. I feel very comfortable. Hallelujah. I am the firstborn and my kids are coming. I'm very jealous when she treats them more than myself. And I don't hide, I tell her. I say, I am the first son. Are you with me? Are you young men listening to me? Don't call your sherry only in the bedroom, sherry. My chicken wing, my baby. Because you want something. Call him everywhere. When you see those young girl, younger, call him my baby. Aha! We are taught continually by statistics and people who are expect that a major cause of marital problems is poor communication. Somebody, somebody say, any power, any other sources of communication, any strange voices in my family, in my house, that is rather not from God. I silence you by the blood of Jesus. Any man, any woman that speaks higher, louder than the word of God in my marriage, you are a liar. I silence you by the blood of Jesus. In my house, in my life, the word of God shall speak louder than anything else. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Psalm uh, Proverbs 18.21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will eat its fruit. You see, I'm a pastor. I like to elaborate. But I need also to consider the time because there is a schedule that is in place. They will go to take some picture and the people need to get ready. And in the church we have activities. But let me elaborate a little bit. Communication is very important. I don't care what happened at work. I don't care what your customers has done to you. I don't care if the boss yielded at you. When you come home, you smile. Hallelujah. It is important when from the past, I will tell the truth. I was married. I didn't have that behavior. Until such time, when my wife works before, I speak French. Bonjour, chérie. Bonjour, bébé. Hallelujah. Immediately, I finish to pray. My, start, my day starts very well. It costs you nothing to greet. Greeting is a powerful medicine. Hallelujah. No matter what happens from work, when you enter, Bonjour, chérie. Hello, my honey. How was your day? Amen. Don't be angry against the dog, against the cat, against everyone. You keep quiet. They greet you, you say, like this. That is why I ask Mama. Mama must speak. If she does like this, it's not enough. But we all of us heard her clearly, audibly, that she has given permission. So speak. When you don't speak to your wife, or your husband, somebody else will speak to him or her. Are you with me? Don't break communication. Speak life 
Speak life to your marriage. You got the best cooker ever. You have the most beautiful woman. She is beautiful for you. God can never make a mistake. Hallelujah. Each one of us are unique. God made you like this for a purpose. You are beautiful. I like when my wife smiles. Uh -huh, here. It's nice for me. Are you with me? The more you love your wife, the more God comes in your midst. Because God does not have love. God is love. Are you with me? Increase the presence of God in you. Deuteronomy 30, verse 19 and 20. Moses called heaven and the earth as witness. Time not allow me to read all this. But I want you to speak life to your marriage. Tell your neighbor. 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 The things of God. The works of God. Are not meant to make sense. They are meant to make faith. Speak the word of God. Do the works of God. It will bring faith and victory. God is the source of everything. God is the originator. He is the initiator. Jesus is the executor of the plan of God. The Holy Spirit is the revealer of the plan of God. God has a nice plan, a beautiful plan for you. Amen? So speak life. Speak positive. I don't care what people look at you. Today, they don't know what is tomorrow. Say, my friend, my enemy, wherever you are, be patient with me. God still busy with me. Tomorrow belongs to God. By the finished work of Jesus, I have a bright future. I am victorious. Speak life in your marriage. You will buy houses. You buy houses for your parents, for your children. You will have your first son be a doctor. Your, your, your daughter will be. Speak life in your family. Speak life in you. Don't speak. I was earning some money. Since I married this woman, look the way I become. What is that? If she dies, that one, I will not wait. Three months, otherwise somebody else will jump. Are you with me? Those are not kind of things you should speak. Because the power of life and death are in your tongue. Speak positively for your life, for your wife. She's the best cooker ever. She's the best wife ever for you. God cannot do mistakes. Hallelujah. Your marriage is forever. Hallelujah. Cedric, do you hear me? I say your marriage is forever. As from this ceremony onward, God recognizes your union and he does not accept setting marriages aside. This is a polite way of speaking about divorce. Said this, you spirit of divorce, in my bloodline, you are a liar. I am married for good, for bad, and better. I shall never divorce. Anywhere you are, catch fire, lose a hold, in Jesus' mighty name. Today, divorce become a means of people getting richer. But when you are married in the sight of the Lord, is forever. Jesus is forever. God is forever. God will never make a mistake. That is why I call the family of the husband and the wife. They went there. The young man switch uh, on that the outer one. Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Sorry. So those two lights, those two scandals, 
means the separate life. And what God will put together is putting together. This is what we call a white wedding by lack of weight. But it's the most important because we call God to be witness. Amen? God is the family man. He and Jesus are one. Jesus said, if you see me, you see the Father. Hallelujah. There will be a lot of things in the marriage. Good time, bad time. If Jesus is with you in deep water, he will be with you. When you smile, he smiles with you. When you cry, he cries with you. You are married until Jesus comes back. The only way that your marriage will remain happy, exciting, loving, and full is you, if you keep God and his word at the center of your life. Say this, God is faithful. He is faithful to his word. He is faithful to his name. Father, I keep you and your word in the center of my life. I keep you in the center of my marriage. I keep you in the center of the lives of my children. I keep you in the center of my career. In Jesus' mighty name. Romans 5.5 5 says, Now hope does not disappoint. Because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who, give, who was given to us. Because God lives in you, his love is in you. And it is this love which will enable you to love each other as husband and wife forever. As long as God remains the center of your marriage. Hallelujah. Jesus said in John 6, 63, it is the spirit who gives life. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak to you are spirit and they are life. God and his word need to be life to your marriage. In those times that it appears to be challenging, remember what Jesus said to his disciple in Matthew 19, 26, with men, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. Your marriage can be everything you hope it to be. Just keep life into it and keep God at the center of it. Hallelujah. I would like to break for two minutes to receive some music. Hallelujah. Remember, if God is the center of your life and your marriage. God is faithful. He is faithful to his word. He is faithful to his name. God is not allowed to go against his word. That's why Jesus say, if you ask the father in my name, he will do so. Hallelujah. Let us give Jesus a hand. According to the schedule, because uh, we started late, we should have a, a small round of music and carry on. Because I want to go to the next very important part of this wedding. I have spoken. I have caught the word of God. I have quoted the word of God. It is important family because you cannot have such day twice. You have embarked in a no return journey. So take the best of this day. Amen. We have called God to be witness and to be in the center of this marriage. I would like the couple to confess. Amen. They need to confess publicly that Jesus is the foundation of their marriage. Hallelujah. That Jesus is the example of their love. To the groom, Cedric, you will answer me, you say, I have. Cedric, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? 
Yes, steady I have. And have you received the Holy Spirit to dwell in you? Yes, I've received. Hallelujah. Give Jesus a hand. Is that mic working? Those are not mere declaration. Jesus said, if you are a shame of me in the sight of people, I'll be a shame of you. Amen? So I, want, I like people that are bold. You declare Jesus. Not only in the church, in the lift, wherever you are. I was a shameful, not shameful, but a, a shy. I was a shy person. But whenever I go with my wife say, I only believe because you are a pastor. If you are not a pastor, you are too dangerous. Because I speak everywhere. I speak with women. I speak with authorities. Because I'm speaking on behalf of Jesus. I just want to transmit a message concerning Jesus. I am not ashamed of the gospel. Because it is the power of God. And to shall mention. So I want Cedric, put that mic. I want them to hear that you are declaring. Yes. Say, Cedric, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? Yes, Daddy, I have accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Amen. And have you received the Holy Spirit to dwell in you? Yes, I have. My daughter Rosette, have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? Yes, Daddy, I do. And have you received the Holy Spirit to dwell in you? Yes, Daddy, I do. Upon this profession of your faith you have made known that jesus christ of nazareth is your personal lord and savior and your master when two people join themselves to the lord jesus christ by faith according to god's own word and god's own statement they stand clean and clean before god as adam and eve were in the garden of Eden before the sin. I declare you clean and cleanse by the finished work of Jesus. Because of the blood of Jesus, God sees you right now as you're standing in this altar. You are clean. I say you are clean. I say you are clean. I rebuke anything, anything that's crossing your mind, calling you back. Your past has passed away. As you're standing here, you are clean. I say they are clean. They are whiter than stone. Hallelujah. I rebuke any voices that is calling them. Anything that is telling them, remember. They shall remember nothing. They shall forget all the past things and press on forward. You shall go far, my son. You shall go far, my daughter. Today mark a new day in their lives. Hallelujah. I want us to make notes because God has turned a new chapter in their lives. Let us give the Lord a hand now that God has turned. <laughs> Hallelujah. In your life, there shall be no more two candles. Sit down, my daughter, if you are tired. Give us all the men. Today, a miracle is taking place in this ceremony. Your spirits are being joined together by the creative power of God, and you will become one. Jesus said in Matthew 19, 4 to 6, Have you not read that he who made them at the beginning made them male and female? For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined. Somebody said joined to his wife. And the two shall become one flesh. Amen. You cannot eat your own flesh. You cannot hurt your own flesh. Amen. Anytime by now you will become one flesh with the Lord. You are his. He is yours. You are one together with him. I want you to understand that if you rightly discern the body of Christ, then you correctly discern the miracle that takes place in marriage. There is something very powerful that happened. Don't ever temper with that union. The love of God does not say, I love you, but do you really love me? It simply says, I love you unconditionally. Hallelujah. Cedric, I release the power in your life. I release the power in the life of your wife to love you unconditionally like the Lord loves us. Amen. 
do not become a husband who is a public success and a private failure. All the men say, I refuse to be a public success and a private failure. I shall be a success, a super daddy in my house, in the public. Amen. There are many of us. He's pastor in the church, but he's a lion in his house. He's Papa Bonheur outside. When the wife, he has just money, he change. You, you like money too much. What's wrong with you? But when he goes outside, Papa Bonheur, he is a, a Papa Epi. He gives, he gives. Amen. You don't need to impress outside. Be the same person. Ephesians 4 26 says, the word, the word says, be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath. Amen. Family, I know you are tired. I can see, I know it's hot, my daughter. I can see you there. Don't worry. But this is important. Especially couple. When you have a big bed, you see the husband sleeping right in the corner there, the wife this side, like this. Sherry, Sherry, can I talk to you? Hmm? Hallelujah. I, don't, I cannot elaborate more on this, but be quick to bring peace. If you promote peace, you are not weak. Look at your neighbor. Say, if I promote peace, I'm not weak. I am stronger. I refuse to sleep with anger in my heart. Hallelujah. It is very important. If you make peace, you are not the weaker one. You are even the strongest. Make sure. My daughter, say, Sherry, you, you don't tell him that, uh, you, you see what you say, in your heart you know that you are right. But you say, Sherry, I don't want to know who is right, who is wrong. Let's make peace. What do you want me to do for you? Do you want that, uh, that soup? I can do it for you, I'm not tired yet. Hallelujah. Do you want some uh, chocolate or... What is it that I like there? Um, this smoothie. Uh-huh. Let me make for you. Hallelujah. You know that you are not wrong, but for the sake of peace, because Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Hallelujah. You make peace. Don't sleep. Don't pretend. Amen. You see, it's important. There are young couple. I must say these things. They must know. Hmm? Especially on the weekend, my son. Don't look trouble on the weekend. Are you with me? Make sure there's peace. When you know in the morning you did wrong, you yearn at her. God will allow you to know what she likes. Bring a nice chocolate for her. You are not weak. You're just making harmony and peace to come back from home. Hallelujah. To be humble is not to be a religious is to display the character of Jesus. Hallelujah. He says, if you have an argument, then sort it out before you go to sleep and keep back into fellowship with God and with another. You fight with your wife, but you come here in the church. that you know and you see that is in him. God. Can you all hear me? I don't want to use the mic. Hallelujah. In the eyes of God, Cedric and Rosette are washed in the blood of the Lamb, Jesus Christ. They believe that it is God's perfect will for their lives that they may marry and spend the rest of their lives together. Hallelujah. Cedric and Rosette, I said things here. I didn't say that you should disregard your family or look at them as second hand. No. 
you love them, but you help them, you respect them together. Are you with me? You cannot help your mother without your husband or your wife knowing. You cannot help your brother without your wife knowing that you are doing, you are one, remember. Hallelujah. When God gives you kids, when your daughter comes, mommy, by daddy, because girls, they like daddies. They say, daddy, mommy doesn't want me to watch TV. You don't ask her why. You look, you always support your wife, and you find a way for your daughter or your son to understand that it is for his good that mommy is giving discipline. Amen? Disciplines build your character. I know that you people are tired, but this is the most important thing. We need to do it standing. Are we together? It is the perfect will of God for you to be together. Now I want us to pronounce the vows. You don't do the vows while you are sitting. Amen? I release the strength, the joy of the Lord that is your strength. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want the mic. I want the, the mic to be ready. And you, Cedric and Rosette, speak louder. Because one day I'll visit you and uh, when I'm the door, I will hear you people screaming. But now here yeah, you don't want to speak louder. Hmm? I want you, when as I read here, you say, I do, you say like you mean it. Amen. Amen. To the groom. Cedric, do you take Rosette as your wife, as your own flesh, to love her, even as Christ loves the church, to protect her and care for her for the rest of your lives? Yes, I do, Daddy. Amen. Did you hear him? You must repeat, eh? Okay, do it. Yes, I do, Daddy. Yes, I do, Daddy. Uh -huh. Then turn to her and read your vows. I will read, but now this is me. Turn to her. I know, I, me, I, I know you. I sit there. You sit here. I, I, I know the way you look at her. Can you see this? I'm asking to face her now. He's doing uh, like a, a religious man, not look at her. Isha, yeah? Release power. <laughs> Hallelujah. Somebody give Jesus a hand. Come on. I, Cedric. I, Cedric. According to the word of God, according to the word of God, submit myself to you. Submit myself to you. To be a husband to you. To be the husband to you. From this moment, from this moment forward, forward, we shall be one. We shall be one. Amen. To the bride, Rosette, do you take Cedric as your husband, submitting to him as to the Lord, showing reverence to him as the head of this union for the rest of your lives? Yes, Daddy, I do. Uh huh. Then turn to him and read your vows. You repeat after me. I, Rosette. I, Rosette. According to the word of God. According to the word of God. Submit myself to you. I submit myself to you. To be a wife. To be a wife. To you. To you. From this moment. From this moment. Forward. Forward. We shall be one. We shall be one. Amen. Family, because at, at the end of this ceremony, 
I will call Rosette with the husband's surname. So I believe we, I should call Rosette with her full name now so that after you'll understand. Because the other one, I just call him Rosette, Rosette, but let me address her with her own name, okay? Say, I, Rosette Cash. I, Rosette Cash. According to the word of God. According to the word of God. Submit myself to you. I submit myself to you. To be a wife to you. To be a wife to you. For this moment forward. For this moment forward. We shall be one. We shall be one. Yes, put some music, please. I would like my wife to come. Come and give me some hand for my wife. Come on. Ah. Hallelujah. Um, actually, I supposed to be their godfather. I supposed to call Pastor Tony to do this. But my heart, they are my children. I love them. And uh, I accepted in the last minute to do this. So for this, I want to bless these rings because I want the happiness that I share in my family to be transferred to them. 21 years. My wife is becoming younger and younger, and myself younger and younger, and also. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I'd like us to pray, my wife and I, for this, as a mature couple of this, one of them in this church. I want us to bless, and I, I want all of you to stand, stretch your hand toward these rings. Because this is for the covenant. Amen. I will pray with the mic, but you can pray on your own. You are free to express yourself. Bless this wedding. Pray these rings. Pray, sanctify them with the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise and honor. We consider these rings as a token of your covenant. My Father, my God, regardless of where it came from, regardless of the resources, the means that they use to provide them. We sanctify them with the blood of Jesus. These rings will be a token, a remembrance of your covenant, your presence in among, in the midst of this young couple. Let the blood of Jesus speak for these rings. Let the blood of Jesus protect these rings. Let the blood of Jesus fight for these rings. Let the blood of Jesus answer for these rings. Any marital problems, any anti-marriage agent that is planning against these rings, we bound them to defeat in the mighty name of Jesus. We paralyze them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, this ring will be a remembrance of your covenant with this couple, they shall remember you. They shall live forever in this marriage until Jesus comes back. I cover them with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you. You may be seated. Family in my hand is a ring. There is two points I want to make quickly before we proceed. A ring is a precious thing made of a precious metal and it is a token of your faith and your love. It is also a never-ending circle indicating the continuing love of God. A love that never presents itself haughty, no puffed up. A love that is patient, kind, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. This kind of love does not envy, does not behave rudely, does not seek its own, is not provoked, thinks no evil and does not rejoice in iniquity, 
but rejoices in the truth. Hallelujah. It is very interesting, but I don't want to waste time again. I want to elaborate. Whenever I try to lie, my, if my wife looks at me and says, say the truth, immediately I start laughing. And it will help me in years to come to change. Sp learn to speak the truth to your wife and to your husband. Regardless of painful it is, truth heals. Amen? This is the symbol. You need to wear your rings as continual reminder of your faith and continual reminder of your confession of faith which you have made to each other and to God. Family, myself, I, I go to the shower with my ring. I never remove it. You can do so. Do you hear me? Bath with it. Eat with it. Sometimes I sleep with it. It reminds you. When you travel, because you'll be traveling, you look at it, you remember about Rosette. Amen? Don't remove, put in the pocket so they can say you are single. Hallelujah. Uh. A ring can mean two different things. It can be a never-ending sign of love, or it can be a shackle. A shackle. I charge you with something that I want you to remember always. This lady stands by your side, not under your feet. You see, I said it before. She's standing next to you, not under you. In Jesus, there is no culture. Jesus is our culture. Don't say, in my culture, women, they don't sit where men sit. They don't pass where men are passing. They don't talk when men are talking. No. In Christ Jesus, we don't have those kind of things. I'm sorry. I respect your culture, but I belong to the culture of Jesus Christ. Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah. We are after his kind. We are not after custom and tradition. Amen. I appreciate when other culture women, when they greet, they do like this. It's fine. It's respect. But there are other things. As children of God, we cannot make them our way of life. Amen. Cedric, I want you to remember, the lady stands by your side, not under your feet. She's not your slave. She's not a second class. She is your own. You are one with her. Hallelujah. <laughs> praise the Lord. Somebody say, praise the Lord. You have the responsibility of being the head of this union. You have spiritual responsibilities. Cedric, you must not pray only in the church. You are the spiritual head. You are the pastor of your family. You are the pastor of your house. You must initiate spiritual exercises. Pray. Be a prayerful father. Be a pray prayerful husband. Amen? Consider God to be the source of your income, not your job. Hallelujah. Not your work. God must be the source of everything. No matter how difficult the situation, look unto God first. Before sharing with your friend, share it with God. Hallelujah. I want, to wear the, this, I want you to wear this ring in remembrance that she is your helpmate. It must never be a shackle or dominance, but always a reminder of your faith and your love. To the groom, Cedric. What is the? Is it? Are they all the same? This is yours, the bigger one. Cedric. You will repeat this by placing. Put the mic. I want him, people they must hear. You are here witnesses. Amen? Amen. Say this. Cedric, take that ring and repeat after me. Yes. Say, I Cedric. I Cedric. With this ring. With this ring. I. 
I D D word. Wait. You see, it's a special moment. I'm speaking English from England. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm speaking King James English. Say, I Cedric. I, I Cedric. I Cedric. With this ring. With this ring. I. I. D. D. Wait. Wait. It is a token. It is a token. Of my love for you. Of my love for you. And a token. And a token of my faith, of my faith that I release now, that I release now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. To the bride, you need to remember that there is no place in the word of God which allows one person to rule and dominate another. Wear your ring as acceptance of your position as wife in this union. My daughter, did you hear that? You wear it everywhere. I know you are beautiful. I'm not trying to flirt you. You are beautiful. You are together. There will be men at workplace. There will be men in the bus, in the taxi. They will approach you. Oh, joli uh, biscuit. Mm. Mon ange. You know what you do? My daughter, you do like this. <laughs> Thank you. I know I'm beautiful, but. Amen? Don't hide it. Uh huh. Don't entertain. I'm a strong woman. I will play around with him. Keba. You hear me? Do not show them that you are already somebody else. Now, Rosette, here is. Rosette, you repeat this after me. We speak King James. Say, with I, Rosette. With I, Rosette. Cash. Cash. With this ring. With this ring. I. I. D. D. Wait. Wait. It is a symbol. It is a symbol. Of my love for you. Of my love for you. I believe. I believe. With all my heart. With all my heart. That is forever. That is forever. That is a token. That is the token. Of my faith. Of my faith. That I release. That I release. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. I, I know it's exciting. Well, let, let us carry on so that we will, we will rejoice. I want you to join right hands, please. Groom and uh, bride. As a representative of the Lord Jesus Christ, before Almighty God, and in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in accordance with the power invested in us, I pronounce you one which other. You are now husband and wife in the sight of God. Where, where, where I'm coming from, it says, I say, I stand here and a man, as a man of God. I declare you husband and wife. What God has put together, no one must put it asunder. Let me hear you. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait, wait. Music. Wait, wait, wait. Family. But you two are too serious. Why? But let me ask you something. Have you noticed that I didn't ask them to kiss, but they kissed without my permission. 
So now I'll ask them with my permission to kiss again. Amen. Let us give Jesus a hand, please. Hallelujah. This, this joy is from the Lord. I want us to be together. I just left with two steps. We need to partake. They need to partake of the table of the Lord. Please assist them to go toward the table. It is, uh, this, is, this is beyond emotion. This is the presence of the Holy Spirit. And uh, he has marked his approval by being here. Sometimes you feel like crying, but it is the joy of the Lord. Amen. While they are going, I would like to say this. You have both taken communion in the past, and you now you know what it means. I need to remind you that you are in covenant with God, and this covenant was ratified at Calvary by Jesus. Before God, you are now a new creation, because you are now one. The first thing that you need to do as a husband and wife is to honor the Lord as at his table you are going to notice a new realm of your life beginning because of spiritual law that says one can put a thousand to fly two can put ten thousand to fly from this time forward your everyday life will be ten thousand times more powerful spiritually than ever hallelujah Amen. before they partake they partake uh, Please understand me, I speak French, eh? So sometimes I pronounce English like French, so just bear with me. Hallelujah. So before they partake, I would like to read the word of God and know what this uh, uh, scripture will say. One can put a thousand to fly and two can put ten thousand. Amen? It means that husband and wife, now you become one. The enemy of one, someone cannot tell you he loves you and he hates your wife. He's a liar. Let me put my glass to see everyone nicely. Are we together? So it means that your enemies become automatically the enemies of your wife. The blood covenant Jesus Christ enter with God on our behalf makes all your enemies the enemies of God. Today I declare anyone that will stand and declare himself to be their enemies he is automatically the enemy of god and when you are with god you are on the side of victory no one can battle the lord in this church we sing a song who can battle against the lord so if you put the lord inside in the middle as we said you shall be victorious hallelujah and the table of the lord is a covenant meet for remembrance to remember what Jesus has accomplished. I like to call it the finished work of Jesus. Amen. 
1 Corinthians 11, 23, 24 says, For I receive from the Lord that which I do deliver to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night that he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you. To this, do this in remembrance of me. I would like to make it very clear before I proceed that because of the finished work of Jesus, any man, any woman under the sun that says is fine, let them get married, but we shall see. I declare, standing in this altar, we shall see nothing. I said, we shall see nothing. We shall see prosperity. We shall see abundance. We shall see children. We shall see children, children. We shall see money. We shall see houses. We shall see good reputation. This generation shall remember them. So any power, any satanic declaration from the pit of hell, because of what Jesus did, and this table of the Lord we are taking, I nullify it in the name of Jesus. It shall not work for them in the name of Jesus. They are defeated in the name of Jesus. Anyone that says, let them get married, we shall see. I arrest them by the blood of Jesus. They shall keep quiet forever in the name of Jesus. Amen? So when we take this communion, it's for us to declare clearly and audibly that Jesus will do what he has declared in this word. Cedric, I shall see children and children. I shall see prosperity. You shall come and testify for the Lord. You shall grow up in the knowledge of Jesus Christ. You shall grow up and the grace of the Lord shall be multiplied in you. This is the word of blessing. I will speak them again. But this is what Jesus said. He was beaten. He was in, they, they, they mock him. So sickness will not cling upon you. The womb of Rosette shall be available and ready to be a children in the name of Jesus. Cedric, please serve Rosette and take the bread. Take that biscuit that is there. Jesus was saying that his body which was to be beaten, abused and broken was to be done so that we as believers would be healed from every sickness and diseases in our body. I sent the prayer point already. I want you to eat that bread. Give the bread to Rosette and Rosette give the bread. Don't feel shy. Amen. Matthew 26, 27, it says, Then he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink from, from it, all of you, for this is my blood for the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sin. 1 Corinthians eleven twenty five 25 says, In the same manner he also took the cup after supper saying this cup is the new covenant in my blood i want you to give how many cup are there i want you to give you share it rosette kosisate just drink a little bit then you make also your husband to drink Mm -hmm. then. <laughs> Hallelujah. Let us give the Lord a hand. They have honored the table of the Lord. Hallelujah. I said they have honored 
the table of the Lord. I want you, my daughter. Ah, don't get angry. I must call my daughter first. Too. So I want you, my daughter, to stand. Stand that's just where you are there. Cameramen and people. I want the people of God to see. Uh, my son Cedric, stand up also. Take the candle in front of you, each one of you. Take yours. And I want you, both of you, to light the one in the middle. White people, they want to take a picture. You light the, the one in the middle first. Uh -huh. Thank you, sir. Now, together, at the same time, you light the one in the middle. Hey, Kelly, hey, Kelly, I want you to hear. <laughs> Hallelujah. Before God and his people, they have shown us that they do not have two separate lives. So I wish all the church were here to tell them that from now, Rosette is no more single. She can uh, walk uh, majestically, but she's already taken. Hallelujah. Amen. Cedric is already taken. They will not die. I said they will not die. Amen. They will grow up. Amen. They will see their children, children. Amen. They will fulfill their purpose in this generation. Amen. So if you wish them, one of them today, so you can take over, you are a liar. Amen. Look for your own. Hallelujah. Amen. They have put their life together. And Jesus is with them. The love of God is with them. The Holy Spirit is with them. To remind them every day of the plan of God for their lives. I declare God has a perfect and beautiful plan for them. He will remind them. Oh, the Holy Spirit is the best teacher. He shows you you are one. You don't hit yourself. You don't speak any out to yourself. When you look at the mirror, you forgot your name. You call, ah, Rosette. No, no, I'm Cedric. Because you will like oh, cabra, I said you will like the same. Somebody say, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I don't feel like stopping, but we are at the end. We are at the end. The lightning of candles is symbolic of two people being united together in marriage. The two outer candles represented the separated, the separate lives of Cedric and Rosette. Now the center candle shows the oneness. Somebody say oneness with each other and with Jesus. It represents an eternal flame between the two of them that will never die out. I declare by the anointing of the Lord upon my life. This light shall be in their life between them forever. It is the light of the Holy Spirit. Wisdom of the Holy Spirit shall be their portion. I say wisdom of the Holy Spirit shall be their portion. The health of Jesus shall be their portion. Are we together? Long life shall be their portion. I want you to kneel down. I don't know if she should come here. The congregation to stand. I want us to speak blessing. To speak blessings upon them. Speak positive words upon them. Hallelujah. Then I will pray. Stretch out your hands. I will allow the congregation to speak life upon their lives. Go on your knees, both of you. Remember when we started, I read Hebrews 13. You are witnesses in this event. So play your part. Speak love. Speak prosperity. Speak fecundity. Speak fruitfulness upon their lives. Let me hear your voices. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you glory and honor. 
you know the end before the beginning. My Father, my God, this couple kneeling in this altar, the altar of whom you are the Lord, the altar of whom your minister ministers your word every day. Father, we release the blessings upon their lives. Father, we release prosperity. We release fecundity. We release fruitfulness. We release success. We release the fulfillment of their destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, we destroy any power of barrenness. We destroy any power of dryness. We revoke and rebuke any plan of the enemy against their lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, as I stand here in this altar, as your servant, your vessel, and your minister, Father, I pronounce the words of blessings. I say they are prosperous. I say they are fruitful. I say they are blessed financially. I say, Father, there shall be no barrenness. There shall be no dryness upon their lives. Father, they shall not die. They shall live and fulfill their destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, God, be the source of their lives. Be the source of their income. Father, now that they have joined together in your presence, my Father, my God, we join them in this altar. We join them, Father. We connect ourselves in the golden altar, in the throne of God. Father, let your word be in the midst of them. Let them grow in the fear of the Lord. Father, they shall not be the tail, but they shall be the head. They shall not be beneath, but they shall be above. Father, I speak life upon them. Father, I speak life. I speak happiness. I speak maturity. They shall not depart from you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, take all the glory. Holy Spirit, you are welcome to be among them from all the days of their lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Come and assist them to stand up. Yeah. Family, in the, as you are still standing, by the grace of God and the mercies of the Almighty, I hereby, ladies and gentlemen, present and introduce unto you Mr. Eric and Madame. Rosette Nguesia. 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 Rosette Cash. Cash is a maiden name from today. Her name is Rosette Inguesia. Mr. Cedric and Mrs. I didn't say Miss, I said Mrs. Mrs. Rosette Inguesia. We introduce you as husband and wife. In Jesus' name, it is well. Now, we can take pictures if you want to, so that we can allow them to, to move on. The ceremony is officially finished. The Lord has been with us. Thank you for your patience. It is well.